This show has a more narrative quality um, from some of my more recent installations. Um, it also deals with thinking about the material I use in relationship to outer space in a more specific way. I started working with blood, cattle blood, when I was in college at NYU. I did not think I was going to become an artist or didn't even really understand what that meant. You can take a subtle spot on a, on a, on a piece and watch it over. You know, people say, oh, it's like boring, like watching paint dry. Well, in this practice, it's fascinating watching blood dry because, you, you know, over the course of an hour or two hours, the blood can literally start to create these patterns that are just gorgeous and very natural. The centerpiece of the exhibition is called Life Force, and it is designed to have the most intense red that you can get out of preserving blood, as well as looking as though it could be internal organs, or such as lungs, a, cav a chest cavity, maybe where the right where the heart would be placed. The methods of how I have to actually interact with the material and how I have to preserve and behave with the pieces as I'm producing them, there's a tremendous amount of movement. But also the, the natural way that blood flows with resin during its cure time also creates movement. But in, in the sense of movement, you know, movement is often thought of like large scale grand movements, but, and that does occur in the studio, but also movement can be almost microscopic. And when I, you know, for viewers, when they come and see my shows, I really want them to ha have that immediate visceral reaction of seeing the luminosity of the work, the color, the patterns, the textures. But when they get up close, there is a finite details that is, to me, every bit is interesting about the material. Each piece is very different from the other. Every show, in a way, is a new, a new experience. So it always feels fresh again. In that series, Red Giant, the blood is taken, put inside of a plexiglass substrate, brought outdoors, and then the sun heats the, the blood, dries the blood, and I simply preserve the material and then put a copper backing on it. So I act as a facilitator, trying to infuse sun energy with the blood energy. The, the inevitability of our sun in five billion years becoming a dying star. And so using that play to create an exhibition to discuss ideas of mortality and spirituality through, through that lens.